What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Cal. I bring you another My Hero Academia, the strongest hero video. And today I'm going to go ahead and show you how to use a PlayStation or Xbox controller to take control of PvP. That is right. We are using the PlayStation controller right now. And as you can see, every time I move, every time I move, I can go ahead and do something. So at, look at this. I even have key binds here. Woo! That's right. We can get all this combos in, man. And you can just take advantage of it. You want to go into this mode? We can go into this mode. One for all, baby. Now, uh, I am showing you how to do this on blue stacks because this is where you will be able to go ahead and get it done. And as you can see, it's very easy. You can move over here. If you want to go ahead and move the analog stick, um, the right analog stick to have free movement, you can do that as well. Um, and the easiest thing about it, honestly, is the fact that it just is very smooth. So that's the honest thing, right? Ooh. And look, we can even do uh, um, Detroit Smash. So yeah, nice and easy. So let me go ahead and show you how to get it done. It's very, very simple. What you're going to do is uh, we're going to be using blue stocks 4.0 and on 4.0 we're going to go ahead and go to game controls right there as you can see a little keyboard from there you're going to go ahead and open the advanced editor and then from there what you're going to do to do movement you're going to take your d-pad section right here you see it's going to bring it and then after that since i already have mine there you're going to want to put it directly above this then from there you're going to go into settings uh it should be already set up as was for keyboard but then for gamepad it's simple you're just gonna go ahead and move it upwards on the analog stick for that and then uh left um down and right and then you just go ahead and hit the x that's pretty much it it saves automatically once you set it and then when you go to free roam uh to like basically move the camera what you're gonna do is hit the free look right there you're gonna do the same thing go to gamepad and you're gonna go ahead and uh, put left right down and uh, left right down up but you're gonna do it with your right analog stick that way you have movement with right and you have movement with the uh, the actual camera movement okay and then another easy thing that you're gonna want to go ahead and do is uh, for your special you just go ahead and take the tap spot and with the tap spot you're going to go ahead and put it above it and then you're going to go to gamepad and you're going to go ahead and change it to whatever you want i have it at lb um, which is basically uh, l2 on the playstation controller lb on the xbox i cipher off between whichever one i feel like using the, at the time and then you're going to do the same thing for everything else see like right here for this one i went ahead and put us uh, X, which is basically square on PlayStation for this one you I went ahead and um, oh sorry about that for this one you go ahead and put in Y or triangle for this one I went ahead and put in uh, B or circle and then this is your basic attack and you just go ahead and put um, the X or the A button now this right here is your ult and so I went ahead and I believe I applied this to right bumper which is also um, R, R2 and then for your dash I went ahead and made this one right here uh, left trigger which is the L2 button right and this right here since I'm playing on an alt account because I'm trying to gain it up again this is basically what's going to be your uh, card assist and for that, you know how you usually have to go ahead and swipe it up? Well, no more. What you're gonna go ahead and do, you're gonna go ahead and take swipe, right? It's gonna come out big like that. And then you're gonna go to settings. And then from the settings section, you're gonna make sure that it says uh, swipe and hold equals false. Then from there, you're going to go ahead and uh, basically um, put in the key bind that you wanna put. I went ahead and put down that way it's just easier so when I press the down button it's just gonna come out and I don't have to go ahead and press it so let's go ahead and take a look at it after that you're gonna want to go ahead and save okay so saving 
Also keep in mind, um, for PvP, it's going to be the same thing for your assist. So you know how your assist is usually right here. Just go over here and you can go ahead and adjust that. I will probably put left for one assist on my uh, D-pad section, right? And then for the next assist, I will go ahead and move that over there as well. So you know how they're like right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the right key. Now obviously you can't test that here uh, because you don't have an assist technically in the in this section. So now let's go ahead and do this. And as you can see, you see right there, this is where your assist would be. It would correspond to that button and your other assist would be right there. And um, where your card would be, you see how I just pressed the down button on the controller? That's what's gonna happen. Now if I press RB, this is what happens. If I press circle, that's what happens. If I press uh, square, that's what happens. And then Y. And then X. Um, and then your dodge mechanic. And then to go one for all. And you know like when you dodge, this right here pops up the little um, the mechanic after the dodge. This is the up button that I have. So it's nice, it's nice and simple. Um, for the guard break, I haven't really applied a button to that because I barely ever have to guard break. But for the most part, I you can just click it. Or if you wanted to go ahead and apply something for guard break, you can go ahead and figure out what you would like to do. Um, you can probably do like a click in on the controller, you know, like could be like that. So for instance, just in case you guys want to see what I'm talking about, let's go ahead and do it. Go back to open advanced editor. And then we're going to go ahead and take the tab spot. All right, tab spot's going to be right here. I'm going to add this right there. And we're going to click tap key. Now I clicked as R3. Okay. So let's go ahead and close this out and make this full screen. And as you can see, see how I'm guard breaking? Yeah, so nice and easy. If you guys have any questions, uh, do not hesitate to go ahead and ask. If you want to see what this is going to look like uh, with a villain attacking, let's go ahead and do that. Whew. Nice and easy. And this is how you're going to be able to win PvP so easily, bro. I'm telling you right now, um, I wish I was able to do this on my iPhone, but unfortunately I'm not. So.